Well, we're in the final throws of Heli Expo 2016 here in Louisville, Kentucky, and we've had some discussions and some talk about there being low visitor numbers around the show generally. Fortunately, however, Airbus helicopters seem to have booked the trend. They've had some real success with their customer-themed approach. We've got aircraft like the H125, the H130, the H135, the H145 and the H215 and customers and visitors have really enjoyed it seems having a chance to walk around, explore the aircraft and really get to know what Airbus Helicopters is doing for its customers. And at the back of the booth of course there's been the H160 and H175 virtual reality flight experience and although the aircraft aren't physically present visitors really have enjoyed interacting with this technology and seeing what Airbus Helicopters are doing in the virtual reality realm. Visitors to the stand have also had a chance uh, to listen to and witness a number of presentations over the main stand there from Airbus Helicopters personnel uh, and from customers too who've detailed how they're operating these various platforms. And there have also been a number of really, really successful commercial sales which have included an H-130 to Lightning Production Rentals, uh, a new H-130 to Phoenix Heliflight, David McNeil has signed up for an H-145, there have been the sale of two H-125s to the Utah Highway Patrol and the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Um, Dartmouth Hitchcock Advanced Response Team has uh, gone for an H-135 and the Finnish Border Guard also took delivery of the first H-215. But we think the biggest success uh, at the Airbus helicopter stand this year has been the space afforded to visitors and they've been able to walk around, take their time and really get to know the customers and the company itself. And with that, uh, we've just about completed our coverage from the Airbus helicopter stand this year. Uh, thank you very, very much for joining us and have a good one.